So Hosting Your Horizons has been out for just over a month now. And if you're still not familiar with what it actually is, it's our new AI powered web app building tool that lets you create web apps without any coding at all. And since the early access launch, Horizons has actually seen a number of updates. That's why in today's video, I'll show you the new Hosting Your Horizons features you will not want to miss out on. Now with each update, hosting your horizons becomes more powerful and way easier to use. So without further ado, let's review the latest improvements. And one of the biggest updates to hosting your horizons is the new Supabase integration, which gives you a really powerful and scalable backend without the hassle of setting up databases from absolute scratch. So what does this mean for you? Well, for one, it's really easy data management. And if you've used Supabase before, you'll know that it's an open source, dev-friendly solution that lets you store and manage app data in a fully hosted PostgreSQL database. And now your Horizons web app can integrate it into its backend. Now, Supabase integration also means that user authentication is now really simple to add to your web app. You can add signups, logins, and social authentication without complex setups. No need to create it from scratch, just connect it to your account. And finally, you can now easily incorporate real-time features into your web app. Want to build a project management dashboard, chat GPT, or maybe a collaborative tool? Go ahead, just connect Supabase to your project and you are good. And are you wondering how to actually do that? Well, it's super easy. All you have to do is just open Hosting Your Horizons and select the Supabase button at the top right of the dashboard. Then just choose Add Organization, when prompted, log in or create a Supabase account account, and finally allow access to Hosting Your Horizons and connect your organization. And as soon as you're done with that, you can create databases, enable user logins, activate data uploads, and so on. I mean, you know what to do. And at the moment, I mean, updating your database might require a manual refresh, but soon Horizons will actually automate Supabase queries, keeping your data synced without any extra work at all. So a lot of exciting things still coming. Now, now next up, and this is another big update, monetizing your web app just got a whole lot easier. With the new Stripe integration, you can now add payment links directly to your web app created with Hosting Your Horizons. While Stripe is built in, you can also integrate other providers that support payment links. And I mean, this feature is actually perfect for low-cost digital products as it really lets users purchase and download files instantly. You can also implement it into your subscription base tool by just locking the premium features behind the payment link. Or if you've created a browser game with Horizons, you can charge users for entry to an exclusive match, for example. Now to add Stripe payments, you'll need big surprise, a Stripe account and the API key associated with it. So just go to the link in the description and you will find it. And in addition, client-only checkout will need to be enabled in the Stripe checkout settings. And finally, you'll also need to create a product on your Stripe dashboard and get its price ID, uh, which it'll be under the three dots next to your product's price. Now, once that's done, just include the API key and the price ID in a prompt to Horizons and tell it to attach the payment link to the buy button. Now, the only thing left to do from here is to go back to the Stripe checkout settings and whitelist your web app's domain once it goes live. And guys, this is just the beginning because backend functionality for payments is coming really soon to make even more advanced use cases really possible. So stay tuned for that. All right, your web app, your rules. With the new expert project feature, which is actually the next update we're talking about, you now have full ownership of everything you build in Hosting Your Horizons. I mean, not that you didn't before, but now you can take your web app absolutely anywhere from a different host to a personal USB be flash drive, for example. So in a nutshell, this update makes it possible to deploy your app on VPS, a local machine, or any other hosting provider you can just think of. Once it's exported, you'll also be able to modify the app's code, add custom features, or integrate third-party tools as well. And this is actually a really major step in making Horizons a true launchpad for your ideas. I mean, want to self-host your app? No problem. Need to tweak the code? Just go for it. So to 
export your project, all you have to do is click the Hosting Your Horizons drop down menu at the top left corner of the screen and pick Export Project. And yeah, that's it. But do keep in mind that at the moment, it's still not possible to re-upload an exported project to Horizon. So if you're planning to make more adjustments, be sure to keep it on your hosting account. And now we've gotten to our final update of the day. And while you'll love it if English is not your native language, that is right. Hosting your Horizons now allows you to chat in 80 plus different languages. This means that if you're feeling like prompting in Vietnamese, let's say for example, you can go ahead and do just that. And if you're just wondering what language is supported and if your language is supported, just log into your H panel, click the account icon on the top right and hit language. If it's on the list, it means Horizon speaks the language. And those are all of the new Hostinger Horizons features that are live already and are there for you to try out. But guys, work doesn't just stop there. There's a whole bunch of improvements the team is currently working on and they're super excited for them and they'll be coming soon to Hosting Your Horizons. And we know that you might be curious about what's ahead for Horizons. So today I have a special guest with me. We have Head of Horizons, Dainus, to walk you through the biggest and most impactful new things that are coming really, really soon to Hosting Your Horizons. So let's quickly jump on a call with Dainus so he can kind of walk us through those updates. So guys, as I just mentioned, we have a special guest today joining us, Head of Horizons, Danus. So Danus, thank you so much for joining us today. And I already told everyone about the super exciting updates that are already live on Horizons that people can try out already. But I know that the work isn't done yet and your team has been working on some updates that are yet to come. So I'm super excited to chat about them with you and to let people know about what's coming. So, I mean, if you could quickly tell us what people could expect from Horizons that is yet to come. Yeah, great, uh, great question. And uh, hello, everyone. Super excited to be here. Um, so we're constantly working on Horizons to make it even better. And we have a few big updates uh, already, already in the works. So one of them is further improvements on the Superbase integration. As you might know, it uh, helps, you know, that some uh, uh, behind the scenes work, you know, like authentication, data layer, and some other things. And uh, at the moment, it still requires uh, some copy pasting between the platforms. So we're working on further steps. So, you know, you don't need, so you wouldn't need to leave, you know, Horizon's uh, interface. Everything could be done through, through, through that. Uh, so that's one of the things uh, that you can expect in the next couple of weeks. Another thing we noticed that people uh, use our uh, tool Horizons for a lot of different purposes, and uh, and we come up into some you know, when we observe some kind of behavior patterns. So one of them is that users create web apps. That's all good, you know. Um, but then we want to do some changes, like editing text, maybe images, and we still you know, and we need to do it through prompts, you know, prompting. And um, that might not be that useful uh, or convenient, you know, if you just want to do some text change. So for that purpose, we're working on this visual edits feature that would allow people to basically, you know, in the preview environment, uh, click on text, edit some text, maybe image, some other things, wow. and it would, you know, not yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> so kind of like in the website builder that we have, right? Yeah. Just click and edit. Yeah, it's kind of like combining the best from two worlds, uh, you know, just having, you know, uh, you have like the customizability from Horizons, but also this nice user friendly updates, you know, to the visual editor feature. And of course, it's also going to save on credits because, you know, you don't need to prompt to do some changes, you know, uh, so we can just easily do those through uh, UI. Another thing uh, what we're working on is that actually always looking for the newest artificial intelligence models that uh, you know generate better code, make less errors, bugs, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So we are currently evaluating multiple models and uh, yeah, we're looking forward to start testing some some of them in, uh, in production. And just, you know, uh, get you guys blown away by the improvements in uh, quality. And besides that, uh, another thing uh, that we also working a lot uh, besides others is uh, reducing the errors that artificial intelligence makes um, you know, uh, to feel sh <laughs> artificial intelligence is not perfect yet. Yeah, yeah, uh, it sure. errors. 
<laughs> it makes errors uh, and then we're working to you know identify that the artificial intelligence made an error and even before showing the results to you like not working results we plan to automatically identify those and uh, fix uh, so you know we would to see the working version and also wouldn't need to spend again messages and credits on asking horizons to do the fixes so that's just a few things that we plan to launch in a few weeks time yeah stay 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 tuned that is awesome i mean all those updates sound really really great we've already gotten some really great updates in horizons but i mean that is just promising a really really bright future and you know i'm just really curious you know how does your team come up with these ideas like what when you're in the thinking stage like where do you get these ideas from and how do you know what exactly to improve Mm -hmm. Great, uh, great question. So um, everything in the end comes down to users, you guys who are using Horizons, and you're just using uh, multiple channels to get information from you know the struggle points, opportunities, maybe some feature ideas. So for example, right, we have our Discord, uh, you know, server. So I, you know, suggest everyone to join it and, and you know share your ideas, struggles, and. Uh, not only struggles, but what you love, because maybe something you love, you can even make it even better. <laughs> so you love, love it. Uh, so that's one, you know, then of course, you know, YouTube comments, uh, Reddit. Uh, there, there's also a feedback function inside Horizon. So there is you no know, feedback button. If you like something, don't like something, you can always feel free, you know, to submit feedback there. My team, me personally also, I'm always reviews these uh, feedback points and you know, work to make the tool better user interviews right so maybe some of you might notice that you receive emails from me from my colleagues that you write you like to email to get for feedback maybe you know, even schedule a call or two you know just to understand how 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 is the experience for you and uh, last but not least we also doing sessions where with the whole product team you just go through projects you have created mm -hmm. but not like you know the the, the like uh, published versions but those as well but also the experiences you had in the conversation, right? You asked Horizon to do something, maybe it responded something, then you followed it with something else. And you're just trying to understand how you're using the tool, what Horizons is responding, what is working, what's not working. So it's uh, just, you know, a few, few, few channels um, that you look into um, to know better how you're using the tool and how we can make it uh, better. That's awesome to hear since, you know, you're, it sounds like your main idea generator is like just user feedback, which is super, super important. And yeah, guys, we love to see comments on what you think should be improved. So definitely don't be afraid to leave those down below. And now the last question I have for you today uh, is basically, I mean, Horizons hasn't been launched for that long and we've already seen so many great updates. So, and I'm sure we will see even more in the months and years to come so my question is where do you see horizons going in the next three to five years yeah great uh, great question so uh, this question sometimes don't let me sleep doesn't let me sleep at night you know i'm just like looking in the ceiling and like okay so what's after five years right <laughs> Uh, we still, you know, like the technology is so new, we're still trying to figure it out, you know, what's going to be after like five months even, right? After one year, it's, you know, a mystery. Maybe some new artificial intelligence model are going to come out and, you know, changes everything. But the general direction we're seeing is that uh, AI is getting better and better, you know, in uh, all sorts of different ways. And initially, uh, you know, at least for, you know, creating things, creating software, creating tools, it was more as a helper. Like, you know, for developers, you know, instead of, you know, typing it as some autocomplete, but now it's getting better and better. And currently we are at the situation that it's a co-creator, you know, you as a person within Horizons, you just work with Horizons, you know, artificial intelligence and you together create something new, something, something unique, right? So we read it to this, this, this point is really, really amazing. But what we can see even further is that I believe AI is going to be more and more autonomous. So, you know, maybe in those, you know, not, not that far future, uh, you know, AI is going to do both coding, testing, coming up with the ideas, and you just, you know, sitting watching a movie, maybe, you know, write a, some message or small call, and then, you know, after an hour or so, just check the whole done project, you give some feedback, and then AI just goes, does your stuff, does your stuff, right? So that's, you know, 
we live the next step in evolution, right? And in the AI and helper tools. But what's next? I believe at some point, maybe in those couple couple of years, we're going to be in a situation where AI also observes, you know, your life, what you're doing, and maybe even identifies opportunities, you know, how to make it even more smooth. So it would come up with ideas for, you know, for the tools. Let's say it would notice that to do something, you know, in the work or like, you know, art projects, and it would automatically come up with ideas for tools, make them and just, just to, hey, you know, Elizabeth, please try this tool. I believe it would be very helpful to you. And it's fully custom to your needs, built specifically for you. So I believe that's the direction uh, we are going and we're going to be building the horizons. Well, that sounds really exciting and actually kind of unreal right now. But I mean, with the speed that artificial intelligence is developing, I think that can be definitely very possible. So that is really exciting to hear and I can't wait to see what the future holds for Horizons. But yeah, that's all the questions that I have for you today. Lainus, thank you so much for joining us and kind of chatting with me about what's to come to Horizons. So thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Well, that was an absolutely wonderful chat with Danius. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something new and are even more hyped up about Horizons. But that is all for today. Let me know which updates you're most excited about in the comments down below and just your thoughts in general. I would love to have a discussion. And yeah, that's basically it for this video. If you haven't tried hosting your Horizons out just yet, the best time to do it is now. So click the link in the description and use the discount code HZN10 to get 10% off your plan and we've also got a 30-day money-back guarantee in place so you can try the AI-powered web creation tool risk-free so that is pretty awesome oh and I almost forgot guys make sure to drop by the Hostinger Horizons discord community for you know product news tips on creating web apps and you'll find a whole bunch of other fun stuff in there now if you found this video helpful definitely drop us a like and consider subscribing to Hostinger Academy for more helpful videos just like this one in the future. Now, thank you so much for watching and best of luck with your web apps.